Belgium, AP, on Monday, European Union ministers made another attempt to reach a long-awaited agreement to adopt a natural gas price ceiling that they believe will help people and businesses better withstand excessive price increases. Despite the fact that the ministers have previously failed to resolve their disagreements at five prior emergency sessions, numerous EU leaders stated last week that setting a cap on how much gas can cost was likely to be accomplished this time. The political framework has been established, according to French President Emmanuel Macron, who made the announcement last week during a summit of EU leaders in Brussels. Our ministers will now be able to finalize the subject of a gas price ceiling, he added. However, they were unable to reach agreement on the complex price ceiling that had been promised in October as a means of bringing down the skyrocketing energy costs brought on by Russia's invasion. Josef Skila, the Minister of Industry for the Czech Republic, which is currently holding the rotating presidency of the EU Council, stated that today we have to agree on a well-known mechanism which will prevent the European households and businesses from high gas price spikes, as we have seen during the last summer. Skila stated, I believe that the individuals and businesses of Europe expect from us to act, and I do not see any reason not to be able to agree today. Robert Habeck, Germany's economy minister, stated on Monday that no one, least of all myself, has anything against low prices on the gas market, we have to bring gas prices down. We simply know from prior market interventions that we must exercise extreme caution to avoid wanting to accomplish something good and setting off something negative. When asked about his Czech colleague's observation that a qualified majority vote would be feasible and that Germany would end up being outvoted, Hubeck responded, this would of course be an unacceptable consequence. He claimed that the spirit of recent years has been consensual and that our queries, or reservations, are well-founded. He did, however, admit that we will have to deal with it if it happens. He referred to Germany's opening of its first liquefied natural gas, or LNG, terminal on Saturday as evidence of its particular duty to tackle the situation. Last month, the EU's Executive Commission proposed a safety price ceiling that would go into effect if natural gas prices for two weeks above €275, Euros, $290, per megawatt hour and if they were €58 Euros more than the price of liquefied natural gas on international markets. Such a mechanism was ridiculed by many nations arguing for a lower trigger and may not have prevented increases as high as in August, when prices on Europe's TTF benchmark reached around €350 Euros per megawatt hour but returned below €275 Euros within days. The fear of outrageous costs first surfaced during the height of the summer, when a huge August price increase shocked both consumers and politicians and compelled the bloc to look for a cap to contain the erratic prices that are causing inflation. Plans for combined gas purchases and a solidarity mechanism to aid the most in needy nations have been put on hold due of the price cap because the measures would need to be approved as a package.